Hello student, good morning everyone. I am Osain Tong Songya from Balazi Global Academy, Aherua. So this is the this video will be contain uh, socialism in Europe and the Russian Revolution from history portion chapter 2. So this chapter actually we already completed in our school like Balazi Global Academy Aherua but uh, not yet completed in the Menpuri Balazi Global Academy. So that's why I am revising once again this chapter so let's take a look before the advent of the socialism in europe and the russian revolution the russian society has been divided into three major groups so they are like liberal radicals and conservative so these are the three major group we are in this video we will discuss regarding these three ideology groups which were very firm in the russia in those days so first of all, then let us take liberal. Liberals, their idea is like that. Number one, they wanted a secular nation which tolerated all religion. So it means that they believe all the religion like Catholic, Protestants, Islam, Buddhism, all the religion that means they believe, they accept. Number two, they oppose religious discrimination and uncontrolled dynastic power. So as we know that they believe secular nation, so that's why they always against any religious discrimination. That means if anyone stand against any religion, they always stand against those person. And also uncontrolled dynastic power. Uncontrolled dynastic power means uh, there was a king like Char Char Nicholas II, so he have unlimited power. That means supreme power. So that's why they always against the king's power. Next, they wanted to safeguard the right of individual. That means they always believe independence of individual, and also believe no one can exploit anyone. So that is safeguard the rights of individual. Next is they wanted elected representative. Elected representative means they want leader uh, from the public side and elected parliamentary government. Just like India, we have a parliamentary form of government like Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha member. They also elected representative of the publics and also uh, they want well-trained judiciary that means well-trained judge before before in Russia um, all the judgments will be taken by the king itself only so that's why this liberal group, groups of people they want well-trained judiciary and also independence of judiciary in their country next is they did not believe women the right to vote so this is the negative when actually they did not believe that means universal adult surprise that means they do not want the women the, uh, to give the right to vote is it okay next let's move to the radical so radical they their idea is like this uh, they wanted a government based on the majority of the country's population so it means that it is just like the democracy um, what the majority of the people uh, demand so the government must be according uh, the will of the uh, majority of the people of the country's population is it so number two um, they oppose they of they supported universal adult suffrage including the boot for women so this is what uh, very good when for uh, them uh, unlike the uh, liberal liberal group they support universal adult suffrage universal adult suffrage means just i told you before a uh, universal adult suffrage means uh, after 18 years or after 21 years of age all the men and women like um, poor and rich they uh, must get uh, citizenship and to claim vote including the women also is it so this is the positive one for everyone is it so next is they oppose the privilege of great land owners and wealthy factory owners so it means that they always oppose against the privilege privilege means power of great land owner 
like zamindar is it in india and the wealthy factory owner also have factory the rich people is it so they always against those people they against those people's power you can say or suppose a concentration of property only in few people's hands so it means that uh, they they know that very well um, the all the property in the country only vested in only few people's hands so these also they really don't want they always oppose against this uh, concentration of property only in only few people's hand is it so they also oppose against it so next uh, let's uh, go to the next point conservatives so conservative the idea is like this they strongly oppose the ideas of liberal and radical so this uh, liberal and radical actually they want rapid change the society so that's why this conservative always oppose their ideas and next one they fear the, the idea of sense in the society so actually the main thing is that the conservative always fear the sense in the society because uh, the conservatives uh, have the all the power in the Russia, so that's why they they fear about the change in the society. Next is, but by 19th century they accepted some some changes uh, were inevitable, but also believed to be brought in very slow process. So, but by 19th century, by 19th when 19th century India at the time, uh, they accepted they accepted that some changes. Some senses were inevitable. Inevitable means cannot be avoided. They, are, they must be accept some senses in the society. But also believe, but also apart from this, I also believe they to be brought in very slow process. This must be senses. Senses must take place in very slow process, not in suddenly, okay, not in rapid. So this is their ideology. Next is they respected all or past tradition and custom. So uh, actually they respected the old and past tradition. That means they always believe all is gold, cool, all is gold. Cool, is it? So that's why they they only believe in the past tradition and the custom, uh, which were following in the Russia from the um, ancient time. So this is their uh, what conservative ideas. So these are the basic ideas of the three revolutionary groups like liberal, radical and conservatives. Uh, so I hope you understood. In the next video we will discuss uh, continue this chapter. Okay, thank you for today. If you have any doubt you can ask me personally in my WhatsApp number and also in the uh, group. Okay, thank you.